All right, today I'm gonna make a quick video on how many spaghetti squash per plant. Obviously, this is gonna vary a lot, but when I looked up stuff last night before I made the vi this video, I was seeing stuff like four to five, five to six, maybe six to eight. Well, right in front of us is all from one plant. I'll show you the plant a little bit later in the video. And this is 12 spaghetti squash. So one dozen spaghetti squash off this one plant. And there's still several more on there that just are not quite ready to pick yet. Um, the weight does vary um, on them quite a bit. Like if you were to compare, you know, this good size one over here. It's about five pounds. Um, some of the other ones around, you know, three pounds, four pounds, and they have like, you know, this small little guy. It's probably about like a pound or so. These were done, you know, completely organically. So, you know, organic fertilizer. Um, you know, I got red clay soil. It's lightly amended. Nothing special. Um, the seed variety, I believe the seeds are actually from a spaghetti squash from a store from a couple years ago. The seeds I saved from that. So not a particular, you know, seed that I bought or anything like that. Um, you know, the biggest issue I've had with spaghetti squash over the years is actually a, a disease they seem to get that causes an instant wilt and the plant dies. I believe this is spread by the cucumber beetle. And this year, for maybe it was the location, or just got lucky, that spaghetti squash plant never, you know, suffered any issue like that. It was just able to grow and grow, and it got quite huge. It doesn't look very good now, because uh, once your spaghetti squash starts getting ripe, which you'll know when it starts getting this nice, like, golden, uh, yellow, bright yellow color on it, especially the part that's, faith, that's getting sunlight, not necessarily the underbelly. And the skin becomes very hard. Um, you kind of know when it's getting ready to pick. And also the plant starts to die back. It's kind of normal most winter squash. You know, your plant starts to die back as that squash is getting ready. And uh, it looks kind of, you know, not so great towards the end of the um, season. Now, everything has seemed due to, we've had a very, very hot year. Humid, but also very hot. Definitely above average for sure very consistently above average and it has sped the process of everything up to be harvesting winter squash at this time of year mid-july um definitely probably almost like a month ahead like this should have been probably normally sometime in august i'd have been doing this um so the heat has really sped the process up um now to store these what you're going to want to do um you know snip when you when you get them off the plant don't rip them off the plant you want to cut them because you want to maintain this stem here um, if you cut it at the base or you rip it it's more likely to induce rot and that's going to travel down so do leave a little bit of a stem and then i like to let them sit out in a shade of part sun uh, so some shade so they're not getting cooked by the sun for a few days just to allow them to dry out a little bit allow the skin to dry up a little bit and then i'll just you know brush them off with like a clean dry rag get all the dirt grass clippings and stuff off of them before i store them i don't necessarily want to rinse them and then store them because i don't want that moisture on them and i don't want to do anything to increase mold um, ideally, if you had a room, which, which most of us don't, I mean, let's just be honest, so we can't really do these best recommendations, is a room that is 50 to 55 degrees, you know, if a humidity rate of at least like 50% to maybe 70%, very few people are going to have, you know, that's something like, like a root cellar or basement in a cool location. Um, I'm pretty much going to be storing them this time of year uh, one of my closets that I'll keep the door cracked on to allow some circulation. I have a rack that I put on the wall. You know, it's probably around 70, 75 degrees, depending on the time of the day. Humidity is around 50%, and that's why I'll be storing them. If these were being picked later in the season, like if I had these, say, in September, October, I would actually put them underneath my house. I have a crawl space, you know, dirt floor space. Um, I have some old tires and wheels um, that have, you know, enough little crevices in the wheel assembly 
that you know gets stuff off the ground but it also allows me stuff uh to put stuff around those car wheels and allows airflow to get up underneath of it and you know around september october the temperature underneath the house starts to drop into the 60s humidity is a little high 70 80 percent but then once you get to like november it comes down a little bit and the temperatures are just tough around 50 degrees so it's actually a great place to storm um, i have a little wireless phenomenon uh, temperature sensor they're really cheap to get put the little temperature sensor underneath your house your location and it just wirelessly connects to your a little screen inside your house so you can monitor the humidity and temperature and i did it last year and i did store uh, some butternut squash underneath my house for like four to five months but right now it's kind of warm to the mid 70s underneath the house and humidity rates basically 100 percent so um not a great location right now all right so for us i'm going to show you the plant before we end this video i'm going to show you the area where i picked everything out of that's dead and then the area that's still alive and see how many skate squash are left on that plant and how many I think will end up making it to harvest. Like I said, so far you got 12, one dozen spaghetti squash. All right, so this is the area uh, where everything was kind of harvested from, all these dead vines and stuff like that. So this are all in this area, you know, all those leaves and everything, you know, are no longer alive. The area of the plant is dead. But if we start going to where the plant is still a little bit still alive, we have a spaghetti squash here. It's not quite ready. Um, it still has quite a bit of, it's hard, but it could yellow up a little bit more. Have another one here. Let's see, there should be another one here that's still not ready so you get a little farther to the plant where the plant is still alive they can see all those leaves so if we had 12 we harvested how many are still left on this plant 13 14 15 16 17 18 and yeah so there's still maybe a total of 18 spaghetti squash off this one plant um i think they pretty much probably all will make it as they're already all starting to turn yellow now if there are any new like blossoms the plant puts out at this point, uh, if any new start of a spit, it's not going to make it. It's definitely too late for that. But it's looking like we're going to get at least a total of 18 spaghetti squash off this plant. Way more than the 4 to 5 or 5 to 6. But like I said, it's, it's, there's so many variables. Your temperature, um, when you start, the humidity, the moisture, your fertilizer, your soil pH, mineral content, bugs, pests, and everything in between. It's really hard to necessarily say how many you're going to get. But... Um, I would just say if you never plant spaghetti squash, maybe um, don't go crazy because um, you may get a lot off of one plant. Anyway, till next time, y'all have a good day.